Hey everybody! Hi, we're gonna show you the way to the pigs, pigs today. Yeah. Back the there the is pigs? Lolly, as you can maybe as remember. You can maybe remember Lolly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is Kiwi and Sean O'Brien from Shillelagh Farms. This is our homestead. Um, we wanted to update you because the other day we did an update, and we forgot a couple of different animals. Right. So we forgot our hogs. Yep. And we forgot what was the other thing we forgot? The chickens. The chickens. Right. So today Sean is going to help us with giving you guys a view of how the hogs are doing that we got uh, just a few months ago. Um, and then another time, Finn's going to help us with the chickens. So let's get this show on the road. All right. If Mommy will switch the camera over now. I will switch the camera over now. All right. If there's Bella, okay. if you can remember her. As Finn, Bella. And then... There's Finn. Say hi, Finn. Hi. And hi. going through the gate is harsh. Okay. So let's go on to the pigs though first. Okay. So what are we going to do with the pigs, Sean? Ben, can you please move the purple bucket? Okay. It's Harsh, if you can remember him. There's Harsh. There's Sable. And Sable. Hi, and baby. Hi, baby. This is our baby, isn't he? All right. Okay, and here's everybody else trying here's to get our, through the gate. Here's our gate. All at once. We're going to all try here's to get through gate. the gate. Our wooden gate. We're working on some fencing over here, as you can see, but that's a Before different story. Our, there's Adam, if you can remember him. Yeah, come on. All right, so, yes, there's a ladder over there. We're getting stuff cleaned up. Sean, I need you to get in front. You want to get in front? Lead us the way here. Okay, so. Here's the pig bucket with all the yucky stuff. Ooh, yucky, but they'll think it's yummy. Yeah. Okay, and so we come back through here. Um, our homestead is combined of three, three homesteads, actually. Um, all O'Brien's. Um, we have uh, O'Brien Gunsmithing Guns and Ammo next door, and that's... Uh, we use this my brother's wire partial nice homestead. These are his goats, my brother's. And then we are crossing really over onto my parents' property where the pigs are kept. So Sean's getting the, the gate open. Bella's here waiting, hopefully, to get through, which she won't. Okay. All right. We always make sure to shut and tie the gate when we go back through, right? I'm going to tie it on top. Okay, why well, you need to tie it on the bottom too, or they push through, There's and then we're gonna have animals. Henry and pen. Yep. The log. Yeah, we'll discuss the log and all that another day. And see, here's here's my my brother's goats. They are a That's type of Virgil. meat goat. That's Virgil. The smallest one is Doc, and then the lamb is Rowdy, and the other one is Wyatt. Yep, and Wyatt. Yep. Okay. So, ahead you go. All right, we're crossing over. Coming up on the old greenhouse. Yeah, and our, our garden is way over there on the other side. We're not going to view it today. Oh, we need to be quiet. Okay, shh, everybody. We need to be quiet. We're going to get the gate open. It's for safety reasons, dear. You can't sneak? Okay, well... Isn't it through already? No. They tied it like that. Okay. I'll believe you. Okay, so this is our gate that we fixed the other day. Okay, we'll be really quiet. We'll be Oh, I hear him. I hear them. Here he goes. Oh my goodness, here they come. Here they come. Look how big they've got. These guys were a little bitty when I got them. Believe it or not, I could pick them up in my arms. Obviously, we can't do that anymore. So, Sean has just dumped the pig bucket, um, the slops bucket, which they really love. Um, now he's going to do the watering, right, Sean? Yeah. All right. So, it's already got the water set up. Excellent. That is always a really good thing. Ready? All right. I'm ready. Where's it going? It's going all the way over here. Okay. Is that not working right? There, there we go. You ready? Oh, there we go. Now, so give them all a good spray. Get them, get them wet because they like being wet. They don't like the heat. Maybe it's leaking. Yep. Okay, well, I'll tell you what you can do. Oh, you... Grandma's water isn't as powerful as Uncle Pat. Okay, we'll bring it over here. 
And then, and then and then aim at the water thing. No, fill up the water. You gotta fill up the water, dude. That's what we're over here for. Yep. Yep. Try not to aim at the feeder. So, what do you want to tell them about our pigs? Well, the pigs drink, they drink two troughs of water every day. Plus, they got mud pit, and I usually fill that tire there with water too. You fill the tire with water, okay? Yeah, make it muddy. Okay. okay. Um, how did we start out with our pigs? Uh, we brought them here in a kennel. In a kennel? In a little dog kennel? Yeah, in the back of Uncle Patch's truck. In the back of Uncle Patch's truck. And Pesh they all escaped at one point. They escaped. Let's talk about how they escaped. They escaped back there. They all ran off in all different places. And that one there... Which one? Which one? The spotted one. The spotted one. We call him Rover. Rover. Because he roved all over. All over Parkerville, right? And he went over the big bridge. Yeah. He went over the big bridge. Didn't didn't we have a neighbor call us and say, hey, you have a pig in the park? Yeah. He was in the city park just having a good time. Um, and then we couldn't catch him. We chased him all over town. And then what happened next? Oh, the, was it the next day? The next day we got a call that he was in our neighbor's garden. Um, so we went to try to find him again. And we missed, and then we got a call that he had gone over the big bridge, like Sean says. He'd gone over the big bridge, and he was down at the river getting himself a drink, cooling off. And we went down to find him, and he wasn't there. He was he was missing in action again. So we said, okay, never mind. We came home. And then what happened, Sean? Then I came to deliver the pig bucket, which used to be all silk, uh, kind of gray. Yeah, it was silver. Metal. He was back home, right? He had gone two miles out of town, and we said, forget it, we give up, and we came back, and he was literally standing outside the pig pen with the others, just trying to figure out how to get back in on his own. He had come home, and... Home, yep. Mommy, and then, Grandpa came with the fishing net and caught him. Yeah, we caught him with a fishing net. That's how and little he was. he gave, and then he gave me the go fan I wanted. <laughs> It. He paid for the GoFan. Why did he do that, though? Because I did not try to catch the pig myself. Because you didn't try it. You came and you got adult help, right? Which was what was completely necessary. Yep. Okay. This is not as powerful as Uncle Pat. It's not as powerful. Yeah. But that's okay. It just means that it takes a little bit more time. Okay, can... Can you tell the pigs apart, like which ones belong to who? Well, the four biggest ones are Grandpa and Grandma's. And they're the they're the more deep red color, like this lady in front of us, right? Yeah, but the goldenish ones are ours. Yeah. And Rover is Uncle Pat. And Rover's been given to Uncle Pat. Yep. He used to be ours. Right. We said forget it. We gave Rover to Uncle Pat because Mommy was tired of chasing him down. Yeah. Hey, aim. There you go. Yeah, he has not escaped since. We figured out where he went, and he has not escaped since. We started off with five, and those those were the five that uh, escaped, and we did manage to round them back up, but we weren't sure if Rover was ever coming back. So we went back that bought next day, and we bought two more. Yep, we went back and we bought two more just to make sure in case they ever got out again. And so now we have seven. The family has seven in total. Um... Our homestead has two, and like I said, we share this we share this combined pig pen for all of us together. Instead of making three separate ones. Right, instead of making three separate ones, because that would be really difficult and expensive at this point in time. And I'm going to point over here. You can tell we've got a visitor coming to see us over at the gate. That's the first one. Here's the second one. Okay, we've about hit ten minutes here, Sean. So, I'm going to let you explain how you just fill up these tubs, right? Yeah. And then do you fill the water, the hole too? The water hole? That hole over there I fill up too. You fill this too? Okay, I'm going to try to get the water hole. It's, there it is. See, it's a little empty right now, but later on, Sean will have it nice and full. We're not going to take up a half an hour's worth of video for you guys out there watching. And then, but we wanted to give you and guys... After that, I uh, fill that and then you fill this tire. Make okay. It Make it all muddy. Because they like mud. 
Okay, so, Sean, you want to pause for a second sure. on your watering? Because I know you're going to get finished up here soon. All right, so, this is everything we wanted to say about the pigs. Wait. What? Is it about pigs? I like to catch frogs from here. You like to catch frogs from there. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, come on back. I'm going to flip the camera around. Oh, yeah, we have donkeys in the background. I'm sure that'll be another day. So, all right. Hi, everybody. I wish I was a ninja. That's right. Irish, Irish pride over here at the Shillelagh Farms um, at the O'Brien Homestead. And I hope you guys enjoyed our video today about our hogs. And like I said, we will be having an update soon also on the chickens. And then we'll do the donkeys. And then later we'll do other stuff, I'm sure. We'll have lots of videos for you guys. So, and then we'll stay safe. And after we take over Facebook, then we go to Facebook <laughs> Live, and then we go to YouTube. We're working on a platform, people. Yes, we are. So keep that in mind. Keep your eye out for us. We hope you stay safe, and we love y'all. Say bye, Sean. Bye, 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 bye. All right, bye, bye everyone. Bye, bye. Take care.